Hey Warriors, it's Victoria, and I just want to continue the conversation today on biblical healing. And so I want to talk to you about using your words. And you know, this has really been interesting for me because I'm getting certified in neurolinguistic programming as a coach. And so it's so fascinating how it really mimics and mirrors the scripture. And so basically, the Bible says the power of life and death are in the power of the tongue. And many other verses, let the weak say, I am strong. And so our words are so incredibly powerful. And I've come to understand a lot about why and how it actually our nervous system and our brain is listening to the words that we speak. And we're essentially giving commands to our brain by the words that we say. And so basically, I just want to talk to you about how I've used my words in recovery to enhance and to um experience biblical healing for myself. And so, you know, I actually have a lot of a list of declarations that I use most every morning. I don't do it as much anymore just because I'm in a much better place in my health, but I still do it for other things. But I like to speak the word over my life and I like to speak it out loud. There's real power in that. And so I really would encourage you to get a hold of some scriptures about your healing because they are all through the Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament, and you can look up online Keith Moore's God's Will to Heal. He has 101 verses from Scripture on healing that you can begin to use. And I actually use these scriptures as well in brain retraining. So it's a very scriptural process to stop thoughts that are thinking in a wrong direction, like when we're focusing on symptoms or we're thinking about how hard something is or anything like that. We need to stop those thoughts and replace them with the Word of God. And that doesn't mean you use the Word of God to push yourself because you need to look after your body. We are made of body, soul, and spirit. And so you need to nurture yourself and at the same time use your words as your presence programming your body to go in a different direction. So this area is really important. Another thing that I would do is I would use commands, as I talked about in another video, about commanding things in the name of Jesus. And I would also say, body, be healed. Nervous system, function perfectly. Limbic system, be calm and happy. So I really have enjoyed using uh, as I said, scriptures while using brain retraining because it really, you need to take off the old and put on the new. And that's a great way to do it is by using scripture. So just as you're doing other things in your recovery to support yourself, like if you're doing brain retraining and you're doing, let's say, supplements and you're doing your movement and your structure and routine, I would highly encourage that you incorporate a daily practice of speaking the word over your body, commanding it to be healed, and I think you'll be very excited at the results. And again, you know, it might take time, and yet it might be fast. So just be encouraged, warriors, that your recovery and your healing is already paid for. So take care, warriors. Remember, life's not over. It's starting again, and I speak life, health, and wholeness over you. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you will like and subscribe to support my channel. And hop on over to Facebook. Join us at CFS Warriors Academy, where you can learn about all the different modalities that helped me in my recovery from mentors who have also recovered from CFS.